Hey everybody, welcome to Team Doobie Fitness. My name is Mike, we got a great workout for you today. Today we're gonna be doing an interval ladder challenge. So, a little interval ladder challenge is we got four 30 second intervals with a minute rest and then 10 rounds. So the first round is gonna be kettlebell swings, second round is push-ups, third round is goblet squat, fourth round is burpees, and then we will we will start with four, four, two, two, and then we will work our way up and work our way back down. The two one we made, made modification for is push-ups. So we either do our push-ups like this. Now if you can't do that kind of push-up, drop your knees. We do not want to be bent. We want to be straight like this. And we're going to go down and then up. And then on the burpee, same thing. That is what we want. Might be like this. Or can't jump back, we can step them back. Now also, if you can't do that, if you can't get that low, if you had a box, you can put your feet in the box, your hands in the box, and then step back, step, step forward. So no matter what your fitness level is, don't worry about what you can't do, just do what you can and then take baby steps from there. And this, it starts off easy, and then as it progresses, it gets more difficult. Now if you can't do, like when we get to round five, we're doing 20 swings, 20 push-ups, 10 goblet squats, 10 burpees. If you're not able to complete that, just do as many as you can and then go to the next one. Because this is actually a test of strength and endurance. And the future when we redo this, you should find yourself be able to do more in each interval than you did the first time. So let's make this a great workout. Let's have a great attitude, positive thoughts, and let's kick ass this workout. So the first round, we're gonna do four kettlebell swings, then four push-ups, then two goblet squats, and then two burpees. And then it's gonna ramp up and then ramp down. So just pay attention and follow along and it's gonna be a good one. So round one, we got 30 seconds to do four kettlebell swings. All right, then just rest the rest of the 30 seconds. And there's no rest in between the rounds, so it's 30, 30, 30, 30, with a minute rest. Now push-ups. If you need to modify them, you can get down on your knees. Just doing four. All right, in the next 30 seconds, we're gonna do two goblet squats. First couple rounds are gonna feel easy, but as we progress, we're gonna be working our way up in the number we're doing each round. All right, the next 30 seconds, we're gonna be doing two burpees. Now there'll be a minute rest. And then in round two, we're gonna do eight kettlebell swings, eight push-ups, four goblet squats, four burpees. All right, now we got a minute rest. So today we're gonna talk about goals and why people, why some people succeed and why other people do not succeed. The first problem that I've always seen is People set limitations on themselves based on their current situation. And we, we've got to stop doing that. You've got to set a meaningful goal, something that's personalized to you, something that you want to do. Because once you have that goal in place, then you know what you're working towards. And if you're not sure what your goal is, it's got to be something big. Something that makes you want to wake up in the morning that you're going to be working towards. Like for example, my, one of my first goals is to obtain a million Team Doobie members because then we'll be making such a huge difference in the world. It really makes some significant change. All right.
right. Eight kettlebell swings. And then eight push ups next. Coming up, four goblet squats. All right, next up, we got four burpees. Round three, we're gonna be doing 12 kettlebell swings, 12 push-ups, six goblet squats, and six burpees. Now as we progress, if you can't get as many in the 30 seconds as you can, just do as many as you can, and then move on. That's perfectly fine. Yes. Once you get your goal established, write it on an index card. And on, along with whatever your goal is, it should say workout three times a week. The workout is what's gonna help propel you to achieving your goal. And then you need to read that card three times a day, morning, noon, night. Make that goal become one with you. There's too many people that have no idea what they're doing. And then that's why they give up on themselves because they're not working towards anything. Because in all seriousness, success is progressive realization of a meaningful goal. As long as you're working towards your goal, you're successful. The second you stop, you will become a failure. The only thing that's causing you to stop is you. Never give up on yourself. All right, 12 kettlebell swings. Twelve push-ups up next. Don't worry about what you can do, just do your best. It's what you do if you want to quit that's going to change you the most. All right, six goblet squats. Good. All right, six burpees coming up next. Good. Round four, we're going to do 
16 swings, 16 push-ups, eight goblet squats, and eight burpees. And like I said, if you can't get as many swings, do as many as you can in the 30 seconds, and then immediately transition into the push-ups. Right, 16 kettlebell swings. Push ups, 16 push ups, do your best. Oh. <clears throat> All right, eight goblet squats. Burpees up next. What you become. It's like, think about it. If you want to be in better shape, you have to start thinking about what it's like to be in better shape. You got to think and act like a person that's in better shape. You can't have opposing goals. You can't have a goal to be fit and then have an opposing goal to say you're going to eat and drink whatever you want. You got to pick. If you want to eat and drink whatever you want, then being a fit person is not a smart goal. It's your life, you get to live it however you want. But if you want to succeed, you gotta follow the steps, you gotta listen to what I say, and then great things will happen. A lot of it just comes down to being disciplined and having a strong desire to succeed. And as long as you're moving forward, it doesn't matter if it's little steps or big steps, you're successful. The second you stop moving forward, you fail. All right, so 20. Immediately into 20 push ups. Just do your best. This is the rough part of this workout. 
Next up, we got 10 goblet squats. This workout is designed to challenge you a little mentally, a little physically, who knows, maybe a little spiritually. Ten burpees. started with us, do not expect to probably be able to do 20 swings in 30 seconds. Do as many as you can, and it's time for advances. The next time we go through this workout, do more. Don't let you, yeah, stop getting out of your own head. Then the things you can't do prevent you from moving forward. A lot of people that is, why can't you do it? Well, then they don't do it. That makes no sense. As long as you're working towards your goal, you're successful. It's a little painful, but do it anyway. A lot of people think they don't have the motivation. You only get motivated after you do this. You'll never sit around and motivate yourself. Motivation comes once you realize the benefits of what it's gonna do for you. All right, next round, 20 swings again. 20 push-ups, 10 and 10. Alright, 20 push-ups. Do your best. <laughs> then goblet squats. Ten burpees. And after this, we're on the downhill slide. Next up, we're going down. 16 swings, 16 push-ups, eight gobble squats, eight burpees. The language you use is the most important aspect of your life. If somebody says, hey, how are you doing? Most people say good or fine. What you're feeling, you're attracting more of. You should say, I am awesome more awesomeness into your life. When you're working out, never say how weak you are, how uncoordinated you are, how you can't do it. So I'm getting strong, I'm getting coordinated. I'm becoming the best version of myself. Say what you want, not what you have necessarily. 
It's seven, right? We're around seven, right? 17. All right, 16. Sixteen push ups. Good. Eight goblet squats. You feel like quitting. Remember your goal, remember why you started. Good. Round eight, we do 12 swings, 12 push-ups, six goblet squats, six burpees. Attitude, your life is a result of your attitude. Positive mindset, positive outcomes. Negative mindset, negative outcomes. Stop being so fucking negative. Say what you want, believe in yourself, eliminate doubt, eliminate feelings of guilt. Eliminate negative self-talk. Be your biggest cheerleader, not your biggest critic. You got enough people who are going to complain about you. Not everybody's going to agree with you. Figure out what you're passionate about and then go do it no matter what the cost. Life goes by way too fast. All right, 12 kettlebell swings. Well, push-ups next. Six goblet squats. All right, next up, six burpees. Good job. Two rounds left after this. Next up, we're doing eight swings, eight push-ups, four goblet squats, 
Four burpees. Does anybody here know what percent of Americans are considered healthy? Yes. 25, 5, 8, 10, how many? 20. 2.7. 2.7% of Americans fit the criteria for being healthy, which means that they exercise, they're a non smoker, they eat healthy, and they got a reasonable body fat. 2.7%. Are you fucking kidding? No wonder we're so sick. No wonder we have the hospitals full. If that's okay with you, you're crazy. We should be telling everybody that we know, everybody we care about, get your ass out there, exercise, join Team Doobie, make a difference in the world. That's gotta be completely unacceptable to everybody. Eight. We should be ashamed of ourselves care about yourself, if you care about anybody, you should never discourage them from doing something that makes them better. Because guess what? All the pain and agony that you feel is self-inflicted. And the sickest part about it is we've got more doctors, we've got more fitness professionals, fitness programs than there's ever been and they're accepting 2.7%. I refuse to accept that. That's why I left a job making $150,000 a year in pharmaceutical sales to get in the business of doing what is right. Be part of the solution, not part of the problem. All right, four goblet squats. A lot of people say, Mike, why do you care? I'm kind of thinking, why don't you care? It's weird. It's weird that people don't want better for other people. Four burpees. Good job, you guys. We got one round left. Four, four, two, two. And the other thing is to be a non-smoker. They say you can't be two things in America: intelligent and a smoker. Because everybody's like getting education, but like we learn stuff. There's, there's no information out there that says anything about smoking is good for you. And then another side of the table, exercise. It improves everything. Yet nobody wants to do it. So you tell me. It's like, what kind of world do we want to live in? Do we want to live in a world where everybody's the victim and going around being offended and being upset and being sick? Or do we want to change the script? Exercise, eat good, sleep, have sex, help people, be a decent person. Stop saying there's nothing you can do. If you want to change the world, you change yourself. So four swings. The hospitals are full, there's no more room. Push-ups up next. Good. Two goblet squats up next. And the other thing is if my passion, if my energy upsets you, then you shouldn't even be on Team Doobie because I'm here to try and help motivate you, help me help the people. Because we can't do this alone. The 
people you care about, if they exercise, their life will be a thousand times better. And so would yours. Two goblet squats. Because nobody's healthy, 70% of Americans are overweight or obese. 70% are on prescription medication. Less than 20% of married people are happy. Over 50% of marriages end in divorce. Good job, you guys. Good job. Good job. Good job at home. Awesome job today, you guys did really well. Don't forget to take your post-workout selfie, post it to our page, tell your friends and family about the importance of fitness and stop setting limitations on yourself. Set goals that are meaningful, set goals that are up here, they're almost unattainable because it, the success is the progressive realization of your meaningful goal. As long as you're moving forward, you're successful. The second you stop moving forward, you become a failure. Why would you want to fail? Set a goal, write it on a card, look at it three times a day, and I promise you, it will become your reality. So we're looking forward to seeing you next time. Have an amazing day. We love you.